<laughs> no one's here. Do not touch. Do not care. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa. Ha. <laughs> uh, oops. Paula? Paula? Anybody? Help! Inside you. And welcome to PsyQ. Andrew's a little bit late today. Well, nice of you to join us. Where were you? I don't know. I was sitting right here, and then all of a sudden, poof. Poof? Yeah, poof. Like magic. I don't think it was magic. It's special effects. It's why we go to the movies. A little science, a little illusion, and the camera can fool the eyes. You think we can make some movie magic? Sure. In fact, I think I'm ready for my close-up. My face is capable of doing some pretty amazing things, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but just once, I'd like to have them scream instead of laugh. But this face isn't able to do it by itself. That's why I'm enlisting in some help with some special effects makeup, like the kind you see in movies and on TV. Complexions is a makeup school that's helped create some pretty scary movie characters. Today, they're gonna help scareify me. But first, did you know that with a bit of science mixed in with a little artistry, you can put together your very own special effects makeup with stuff you probably have lying around the house? Like making your own blood. Ah, ah, ah. You start with a cup of corn syrup and add a teaspoon of cornstarch. That makes it thicker and gooier than water. I'm making a mess. The final touch, food coloring. But here's the trick. Blood isn't pure red. Add in a touch of yellow and blue to give it that illusion of true blood. Personally, I like to have some fun when I mix my blood. Do want to dance. Do the blood dance in your underpants. Yeah, blood dance. Now this will come in handy for some other do-it-yourself tricks. Jordan Samuel is one of the top special effects artists in North America. To create your own frightening head wound, all you need is some wax, which you can get at your local drugstore, and some of our handy old fake blood. I am feeling a little lightheaded. I don't know the fun part. Ah, I'm just kidding. I think I actually look smarter. For our last little do-it-yourself trick, you ever fall off your bike and scrape your arm? Now you can look like you've done it, but without the pain. All you need is a little piece of aquarium filter. It's like a rough sponge. And you dip it into some red paint or makeup. Oh, that looks so real. Uh. All right, Jordan, this looks fantastic, but if I'm really gonna have to scare Paula, I'm gonna need to take it up a notch. You really gotta give me the gold. Jordan agrees to give me a full zombie transformation. It's based on prosthetic makeup. It's a foam or rubber piece that sticks to an actor's face. First, they make a clay mold of my face and head. It's an exact copy of me. Pretty handsome little guy. I think so. Hello. From those molds, they build a mask. Whoa. Foam rubber prosthetic piece. Weird. And this piece fits exactly onto your face cast. It'll mimic every expression on your face. So if you smile or you scrunch up your nose, the piece will scrunch up. I'm ready for my transformation. They trim the mask, cut out the eyes, and paint it. Paula, prepared to be scared. The mask is applied. Makeup is used to blend the paper-thin edges in with my face. You'd never know where my face ends and the mask begins. Look at that. Then some of the gruesome zombie touches are added. Shading helps create the illusion of sunken eyes. How dead would you say I've been? Probably a good week or two. I won't need to brush these teeth. Now, Paula is about to get the scare of her life. That's what I need to do, hats. Um, grapes, cabbage, um, hats. You know, it's 
see anybody. Hmm. Just in case you were wondering, Andrew's disappearance at the beginning of the show? Special effects with cameras and editing, of course. Here's how we did it. We set up the camera, lock it so it's still, then shoot the scene. Then without moving the camera at all, Andrew walks out of the shot and we shoot the exact same scene without Andrew in it. When the two scenes are dissolved together in editing, it looks like he's disappeared. Chew on that. Hmm, zombie didn't fool her, huh? Got a trick her with some special effects somehow. What's this? Paula slips on banana peel. Bet I can have some special effects fun with this.